Hello, and welcome to the London Contemporary School of Piano YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about a very exciting topic, the blues scale. And the blues scale is a topic I particularly enjoy working with students on um, because for them, for regardless of your level, now regardless of whether you're an advanced player, you've been playing piano for many years, or you're an intermediate player, or whether you're a complete uh, newbie to the piano, there is something in the blues scale for everyone. It really is one of these uh, remarkable combinations of notes that will really give you endless musical pleasure and enjoyment. And, um, well, without any further ado, let's make a start. Now, it's really important that we clear up a few things with the blues scale because there's a lot of confusion regarding this scale because there's many variations of it. There's many... Uh, um, there's many different ways you can approach it, and this often leads to confusion. So we're going to start with a very important scale before we start talking about the blues scale, and that's the pentatonic scale. So I'm just playing the C pentatonic scale right now. What is it that I'm exactly doing? And what is it that exactly makes up a pentatonic scale? Well, this is really, really important. So let's talk about this. What makes a major pentatonic scale? Well, it's a major scale. Now, if I play a C major scale, I can think of the notes as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then returning to one, the octave. And that's how you construct any major scale. Um, however, the pentatonic scale is where we remove two notes from that major scale. And we're going to remove notes four and seven. And we're now just going to be left with one, two, three, five, six, and then one at the top, eight, the octave. And that, in this case, is the C major pentatonic. Now you can apply this to any other scale, this formula of one, two, three, five, six, octave. Let's apply it to a G major scale then. So there's our G major scale, and we're going to remove 4 and 7, and we get this. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and then 1, or octave at the top. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, octave. And there is the G major pentatonic. And you can apply this to all of the major scales that you know. And it's really, really an effective starting point. And by the way, the, pen, the reason why the pentatonic scale is particularly a very special scale is it's the, one of the earliest um, or most uh, well-understood scales in the human race. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, every culture in the world, um, to our knowledge, has at some point used the pentatonic scale in its folk music. So it's really truly a scale that connects all of humanity together. And it's a scale with five notes, hence the name penta, pentatonic. And anthropologists believe it's connected to the fact we have five fingers and there's this five notes. And if you notice this scale, it's a very easy scale to sing. And it's a scale that just never seems to go away regardless of whether it's Chinese traditional folk music or Indonesian gamelong or in Indian music, sitar music, which often uses the pentatonic scale, um, or pop music today. Even really famous banging pop tracks still whack out that pentatonic scale as if it's a new thing. It's not new. It's been around forever, um, since the beginning of time. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about how we turn that pentatonic scale into a blues scale, which is really quite an incredible uh, musical innovation. Now, it's believed that the first ever blues scale was probably heard around about um, 1870 or 1880 um, in Mississippi in America with African Americans who were experimenting with different musical instruments or bringing uh, elements of African music into American music. And we should really pay homage to that by just adding this one note to the pentatonic scale, we get the blue scale, the C major blue scale. So we have the pentatonic scale, and with the added flattened third, we get this C major blues. I mean, how great 
great does that sound? Now fingering, I'm using fingers one, two, three, one, two, three, five. I'll do that again. One, two, three, one, two, three, five. And the numbers in the scale is one, two, flatten third, three, five, six, one. It's really important to think about the numbers in the scale. That will really help you visualize and remember this in other keys. So you can do it in other scales. What about the F major blue scale? One, two, flatten three, three, five, six, and then one at the top. And there's an F major blue scale. So you can do this in any key you want. So let's now just do a quick improvisation, playing around with notes in the C major blue scale. And you can just make up little short melodies. to also squeeze notes together, slide over notes. That's a very idiomatic style of playing the blues. Like a guitarist bending a string or a vocalist going, ah. So you don't have to play in an even scale-like way, like you're in a piano exam. In fact, you actually want to do the opposite. You don't want your tone to be too even. You want to have accents. impulses. You basically want to get those notes and put them together into a beautiful musical stir fry. I particularly like to spin notes together like this. So the next topic I want to talk about now that we've covered the major blues scale, I now want to talk about the minor blues scale. And the minor blues scale has, and we're going to, so we just did the C major blues scale. But the minor blues scale has a different flavor to it. And it's also really effective. So in the key of C, the minor blues scale are the following notes. C, E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, C. And if we think of that in numbers, that's one, flatten three, four, sharpen four, you could also call it a flattened fifth if you want. I'm going to call it a sharpened four, five, flattened seven, one. And that therefore becomes the formula of the minor blues scale. And it's built on that minor interval. So that minor blues scale has an even more, I guess you could say, sombre bluesy sound to it. joy to fiddle around and play with this scale as well. So we have the major blues scale and the minor blues scale. Now this is where it gets really enjoyable is when you join those two scales together um, in an improvisation. So what I'm going to do in the left hand is I'm going to play a C dominant 7. C, E, G, and B flat. But I don't want to play it like this. I'm going to take out the root, and I'm going to take out the fifth. And it's what we call the rootless voicing. And then we have a C7. Now here's a really cool trick. And this is a really great starting point for you to practice improvisation. We're going to play the E and the B flat in the left hand. And then you're going to slide down a semitone and play the E flat and the A, which happens to be an F7 chord, an F dominant 7 chord with rootless voicing. Um, and if, and if, you're, if you haven't figured that out, don't worry. Just take my word for it that it's an F7 because I don't want you to be over theoretical with this. I want you to get your hands dirty. I want you to get your hands on the piano and just make some sounds. That's the purpose of today's uh, uh, class. So we're going to go C7 with the E and B flat, then E flat and A for the F7. And you're just going to move between those two chords in the left hand, just like that. So 
just keep doing that. And in the right hand, we're just going to play a couple of snippets of, let's start with the major blues scale. Notice how I just did a really short phrase there. Synced phrases. Now we're going to move into the C blues scale. The C minor blues scale, this is now. And you can hear the variation it brings straight away. blues scale minor blues scale major blues scale minor blues scale getting a bit carried away there it's just it's too enjoyable now just a nice little party trick if, if for some of you if that's like starting to go over your head a bit I'll show you a nice little party trick all of the black keys on the piano is a pentatonic scale and we were just talking about earlier hey how the pentatonic scale the pentatonic scale is um, one step away from the blue scale so this is so all of the black keys on the piano happens to if we if we started on an E flat that happens to be an E flat minor pentatonic which is just one step away from an E flat minor blues scale so if you play all of the black keys on the piano and add an A to it you have an E flat minor blues scale cool trick that you've taken away from today's class is that you now know how to play an E flat minor blues scale. But all it is, is the black keys on the piano plus A. A nice little bonus uh, <laughs> trick for some of you to try. Um, but the most important thing is that you add the piano to your daily routine. You know, wake up in the morning and have that first cup of coffee or whatever it is you're doing. Just get straight to the piano. Five minutes. doesn't have to be long. Play a blues scale. Make a little improvisation up. And don't be hard on yourself. Don't judge yourself if it doesn't sound like, you know, Fats Waller straight away or one of the great legends. You're not going to sound like a great legend overnight. That's not the purpose of this. The purpose of these scales is to really gain some musical joy and perspective for ourselves in our own musical journey. And that's, that's what we feel so strongly about um, here at the London Contemporary School of Piano. And if you're not familiar with our work, um, you should just subscribe to our channel. But actually, if you're really serious about making um, progress in your piano journey, what you should do is you should drop us an email at our website, contemporaryschoolofpiano.com. We have a free gift for you. It's a special blues pack that we put together with a secret seminar. And when I say a secret seminar, it's a seminar that's not available on YouTube. It's a seminar um, that only our members members of have access to and we'll give you free access to this seminar it's got some more advanced concepts um, but here's some really good starting points uh, with the blue scale and um, I hope you enjoy uh, this uh, video today and I look forward to seeing you on our next masterclass see you soon